Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the uh, insides of this lady rat here. Abdominal wall. To the base of the diaphragm. So we don't want to get into that just yet. are coming out. That's probably having to do with the uh, dye injection process. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's see what she's got. A liver, just like the male rat had a liver. Multiple lobes to the liver. If we look under the liver, we will find the stomach. Pyloric sphincter at the top. If we look down in there, we should be able to find the, the end of the esophagus, which feeds into the stomach. Okay. It's gotta be in there somewhere. All right, and here we have um, the other sphincter, which feeds into the small intestine. Intestine, gonna feed down, go all around and around. Uh, we've got the jejunum, we've got the duodenum, uh, sorry, the duodenum, then the jejunum. Leading to the rest. Ooh, goodness. Um, and at the end of the um, small intestine, we come back to the uh, cecum. We call the cecum is the um, structure which is homologous with our um, appendix. And this, that is where the small intestine meets the large intestine. So you can feel around in there. I can feel around in there. You can feel there's the sphincter, which is going to stop the movement um, past the cecum until the, uh, the bolus of what has been digested food is ready to move on to the large intestine. Okay, so the main things we need to know about there are the um, large and small intestines, the cecum, the stomach, cut this body wall away. And later on, we will get into the reproductive organs of this female rat. Now, what else do we need to know? We need to know about the liver. The liver is up here. Uh, this structure here, which kind of looks like liver, but is not liver, is the spleen. Uh, underneath there, we should find a bit of a gland that is kind of has a consistency of like chewed up chewing gum is the pancreas. Pancreas up here. And underneath there we can find at the back towards the dorsum are the kidneys, the left kidney, and the other one, which is the right kidney. It's trapped there under some mesentery. Behind the, behind the liver. Alright. Let's make sure we got that liver, pancreas, spleen, esophagus, uh, which is the top of the stomach, uh, brings the food from the mouth down uh, to the stomach. Uh, the pyloric sphincter constriction is at the end of the stomach, preventing food from getting into duodenum, which is part of the small intestine. 
uh, small intestine feeds to the cecum and then to the large intestine. And then uh, once the food is done in the large intestine, it's gonna leave through the uh, 